So, here I am again and um, I am quite busy in the kitchen, as you can see, because I am preparing for our um, dinner, early dinner tomorrow afternoon. This will be my last um, Saturday, so tomorrow after church we we are inviting our parents, my in-laws, to to come join us in uh, in our dinner. So what am I preparing? Okay, I am preparing a peri peri chicken, whole peri peri chicken. So all you need is whole chicken. This is already wash and pot dry. You will be needing rosemary leaves, fresh. I I I got this from my husband's um, garden. And smoked paprika, olive oil. Some small potatoes. You will be needing at least um, half kilo of this and half kilo of carrots. So you can just slice this to a larger portion, just like the size of the potatoes. By the way, if you can find a smaller potatoes, you can use that as well. And if you can find the baby carrots, that is much better okay so what we will do is we will measure a one tablespoon of hot paprika smoked paprika i mean not hot smoked paprika okay And three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix well. Chop some sprigs of um, rosemary leaves. Okay. And then add to this olive oil and paprika mix mixture. So combine together by stirring this mixture here. And then you can use this to rub the whole chicken. So I'm just uh, putting this all over. And then rub it. Okay. 
this is um, much, uh, the chicken will um, really taste much better if you will marinate it for like overnight before you pop this one in the in the oven so it's what i'm doing i'm i'm just preparing this for tomorrow and when we get back after church i'm gonna just pop this in the oven for like one hour and a half at 180 degrees celsius So here is our chicken now. So I'm gonna marinate this overnight and tomorrow I will show you um, the other steps how to cook this. Okay, so see you. So okay guys, as you can see, this is our marinated uh, peri peri chicken from last night. And I have here, some carrots chopped carrots i couldn't find a baby um, carrot so you it's okay to use uh, normal carrots and you can just chop them into big sizes and i have here um i pre-boiled this because it's um it's difficult to cook so i pre-boiled this for five minutes and i still have um the remaining peri peri sauce the olive oil, paprika, and rosemary. So I'm gonna rub these veggies with this um, mixture and then put the chicken on top. Remember that when you do this, your hands are clean. Okay, so this is our peri peri chicken. You can just add um, some few rosemary sprigs here on the side. And this is ready to put in the oven for an hour and 25 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through at 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is now my finished product. Peri peri chicken. Well, that's the thing. If you